today we are playing the quarry again but i'm really looking forward to this one because if you don't know this already it is the last one so i'm kind of nervous kind of excited nervous i feel like everyone's gonna get killed off because i suck at this game and i have my brother's controller today so hopefully the like controls work because mine has like i don't know it's basically where the joystick just scrolls up by itself um i think the only people that's alive is Matt, he's a like werewolf though. Um, Nick, he's a werewolf as well. Abby is left by herself. Ryan and, not Ryan, sorry, Dylan. And Na Natalie, I don't know, London Tipton girl. I don't remember her name in that game. And the bad guy police officer. I think they're the only ones left. So that's gonna be interesting. Right now we're Max as well. And look at this, look at this. <gasps> the last one might be two hours. Mm. Bricks and mortar. Mortar, I don't know. Why does his hair grow so much? Ew. Oh, man. <gasps> oh, God. My volume was really loud there. Why am I top of a fucking tree? Oh, he turned back into human on the ah! tree. That was dead, I'm sorry. That's my fault. My bad. What? Wait. Do you think he's the one who killed Emma? Okay, you're down. Ask an answer. I have no idea how this is gonna end. It's gonna end bad because I suck at this. <gasps> no, he's gonna go in on Emma's body. Or did he like full on eat her? Where the hell are my clothes? Nice clothes. Uh, Laura is dead. Sorry. Don't we should have just gone to the Harbinger Motel. You should have. You really should have. That police officer trying to help them. So that's where I just came from. We can only go this way. <gasps> Is that Emma? Oh, fuck! Thought I ate it. Oh, no. Oh. We did. Hold on. It doesn't look like she's been bit. And she's got, like, eaten in the tree house, not down there. I've got to look at it vlogs. <laughs> Wait, I can't see where she's been bitten. Or maybe she's... I don't know. Where's she been? I can't tell if the room's just dark and it's obvious way, but... I don't know. She's dead anyway. Doesn't matter. No offence, but she wasn't a big loss anyway. She was a rat bag. Oh, I haven't done my tower, I've seen this. 
Oh, that's where it came from. Oh, God. Right, I, I just want to get back to the Lord. Because I don't like out here. Dark and spooky. Even though I'm like a demon myself. Still, it's scary. The whole vibe. Now it's got all these turns where something is going to jump out the corner. Okay. Is that, um, Laura's hat? She must have come back. She did, but then you scared her off. The frog guy. Oh, yeah, just put it on. Add more to your luscious outfit. Stop making those sound. Yeah, let's just walk down there and leave. Yeah, yeah. Swim, something. Get a boat, I don't know. Just get out. Don't jump in, please. Well, it's kind of the only way. Stay. Swim to shore. This is gonna be a big decision now. Well, there's nothing really on this island, and if I swim to shore, I can get to the lot. Well, I know it's a bad choice to go to the lot. Obviously, it's cold. This better have a great fucking ending. Yeah, better. Oh, actually, swim. Don't. It's going to do like frog says a snap. No, you've got to like actually swim. Oh, oh you made it. <clears throat> so I'm really scared something's going to ju jump out. I'm an idiot! I'm an idiot! I'm an idiot! Oh, for God's sake! I just got another one killed! Oh my God! Caitlin, that's her name. I suck at this game. Hold on, hold on. Chris Hackett got killed. Aren't they all meant to turn back? Oh my god. Maybe the police officer. I don't know. I don't know at this point. Okay. Well, <sighs> I suck. Can't get much worse than it already is, right? Actually suck. Great. Just like the right. cartoons. Let's go to the office moment. right next to you. Because you need to go to Abby. How do you figure? They don't like water, remember? Right. Oh, we should have just been swimming in the lake all night. And die of hypothermia? No. All right, well, we're good now. <laughs> Night's not over yet. These fuckers know we're in here, and they're coming back the first chance they get. Great news, okay. All right, we gotta get a vantage point. No, you need to go see Abby. That's kitchen. Where's his office? Wait, what? I swear it was. Alright, let's just follow Dylan. At least I'm the one with the gun. Look. Where's his office? How long has this guy been here? Just gonna look at this. 
large and overbearing overbearing I don't know this regal oil painting of Septimus Hackett who, oh, holds pride of a place on the lodge's chimney column well I, I can see that a long time ago long enough ago that it was okay to have an oil painting made of yourself I kind of want an oil painting of me now <laughs> I would like that. Keep looking. Prepare for attack. What are we even looking for? Do you know? Maybe prepare. Every dust can dawn all through the summer. What doesn't kill you'll make you stronger. Sure. We're here to lead the way. That meets for life, we're proud to say. say. Shout at Stratton, shout out loud. We're hackateers. Two months and you never learn the words? Mm -mm. on the roof no oh my god oh my god oh my god <sighs> showtime motherfuckers we're gonna die they're all gonna die because of me are we gonna be Abby now can we leave or is it going back to them I don't know Come on, keep it together not long till morning <gasps> Oh my god. Should I make Abby go to them? What the? Or should I? Oh, oh my god. Okay, get ready, get ready. Who is this then? Because I killed Chris Hackett. gonna pop up behind I swear run wait wait ew yeah you rat bag Shoot it again! What are you waiting for? Oh my god! I've got butterflies in my belly. I'm pretty sure I can get through that door on the chair. Follow Dylan, go! My heart, my heart, my heart. Oh my god. Quick! Caitlin! Oh my god! I gotta help her. I gotta help her. Oh, she doesn't know where Dylan went. No. Beam, window. Window, window, window. I guess. Oh my god, no. Please. Run. Run! Go! Why is he? Oh, see, no! this controller's pain. Run. Go, 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 No, it's gonna come through that window now, isn't it? You gotta move faster. What the hell are you doing? Go! Why the flip is she walking? Oh my god. Uh, run. Hide. Hide, 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 hide. Faster? Jesus Christ, move! They like to take the close of the flipping door. I'm gonna smack Dylan. Now it's gonna come in, isn't it?
Your sleep didn't. That's nice. I mean, everyone's fighting for their lives, so. Try not to be so loud. Who am I gonna be next, Abby? No one's still there. Really? No. Alright, Rapunzel. <laughs> Your head. Hold the breath, hold the breath. I think you meant to do it when the red goes. How can you not see me? I think you meant to let go when the red goes. You slay. Run, freezer. Freezer, because it doesn't like the cold, does it? Is it blind? Does it only hear sound? I don't know. She's gonna die now, hypothermia, isn't she? I have to keep leaving, Dylan. No! I killed it, didn't I? <sighs> if she dies, it is not my fault, okay? You told me. Oh. No. I like Dylan. Hold on. Why didn't... Is it blind? What? I think they are. Because I just left him. Okay, that was really weird. I don't get what's going on. <gasps> Will the sun rise? No, not yet. No, not yet. We ain't got time for this. It's been an interesting night, wouldn't you? Yeah, Marie? why do you look different? The cycle continues, for some at least. I have to admit, you've disappointed me, but not as much as you could have done. We're bonded now, you and I. And though the full moon will come again, and the curse remains, this night is over. Don't worry. I'll never forget what you did here. But don't you dare ever step foot in Hackett's quarry again. If I see you poking your nose where it doesn't belong, I will never stop haunting you. Wherever you go, I'll be right behind right. you. The breath on your neck, always just out of sight. Hold on. Oh, why is she being a rat bag now? I've been so nice to her. It's not my fault she lost all her cards. It's not my fault they killed her son Silas. Who calls the kid Silas? And I swear every time I see her, she loses more and more of the eyebrow. If you ever come back, I will haunt you until the day you die. You're hard. Why has she been rude to me? I haven't done anything. It's not my fault I suck at the game. Was that the end? No, that couldn't have been the end. 
I gotta, I gotta know where the monster went. I gotta know what happened to Abigail, Dylan, and Caitlin. Oh, Emma was killed by Werewolf Max. Actually, okay, Max did kill her. This is gonna tell me how they all died now. Travis shot Ryan in cold blood. Laura stabbed to death by Travis in a frenzy rage. Still bitter after Laura shot him in the jail cell. Travis hacked Laura. Oh, I Bobby was mauled to death by his werewolf brother. <gasps> was he? I don't know. Dead was by his werewolf son Chris. Chris was killed when his favourite counsellor Ryan shot him with silver. Laura shot his face off in a struggle for the gun. Jacob was killed by werewolf Nick after Ryan refused to help him escape. It's my fault. Chris Hackett's daughter Katie was shot and killed by Laura who mistook her for werewolf Chris. Nick survived the full moon in werewolf form. Okay, Nick was alive. Max swam back to the mainland. Wait, a hungry Caleb? <gasps> Caleb was Mr. Hackett's son. He's a werewolf too. I swear to God, if werewolves look like that in real life. Abigail made it to safety of Chris Hackett's civilian's room. Caitlin survived by luring Caleb into a freezer by using lost rabbit toy left by Abby. Oh! Caleb speared Dylan in the kitchen due to his werewolf blood, though alive Dylan's curse remained. He was at Caleb Hackett returned to his human form. And then the police are here. Ugh. The white wolf. As the sun rises, one wolf sinks back into safety. Who's that? The white wolf. Where's the music on as well? Bodies pile up after summer camp massacre. What do you make of that, Anton? Kind of a gross way to put it, no? Why make a pile? I think it's metaphorical. At least, I hope it's metaphorical. I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not this Hackett's Quarry thing. What was this, like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton, introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life everyday occurrences. And that's exactly what they are, real life everyday occurrences. With a shadow of spiritual supernatural occurrences. Okay. No. <sighs> okay, so I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to blow your mind. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? Yes, it's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat. Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie, go on. Anyway, there actually is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. There have been some developments, and I've sourced some information. I remain skeptical, but I'm all ears. I want to listen Under to my set. hat. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, God, why? Why are you smiling? Stop it, I hate it. Why? I had braces. I have to make use of them sometimes. You do have very pretty teeth. Thank you. That's something that a lot of podcast listeners might not know about me. 
So, it just so happens I've got someone on the inside, so today's episode is going to have a bit of a show-and-tell vibe to it. Can you just, like... Who do you know on the inside? Tell. The inside of where? What? You know someone on the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner critic that mm. says, Stop doing a podcast! No one's listening! You should listen to that voice, Grace. Okay, well, what I really meant is, let's call it an anonymous donation. You know, we're not the only ones who flagged this as a bizarre situation. Someone actually reached out to us. They sent us a package. Did you? You didn't open it. Anyone who, I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. Oh, I couldn't wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous donation. Okay, you've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence, you will consider all options, right? Did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know you... Knowing for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well, we've been sent information and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or bona fide. <sighs> okay, fine, let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. If you are the one who sent us whatever it is, congrats, you got us. Sorry, the tape is just really... Really, there's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you help me with this? Do you have like a key I could like slice at it with? No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. But just give me your fucking key, Anton. No. Give me your fucking key. No. Get your own key. Not like you lock your door. Of course I've just only filmed 29 what are you minutes. Hiding? What am I hiding? Do you not lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk through my walls, Anton. Okay, you need to be more concerned with murderers. So, remember those missing hikers? You haven't stopped talking about them, so yes. Well, I wanted to keep them fresh in your brain because my sources tell me that their backpacks were found at the summer camp. Whoa, wait, for real? Yes, allegedly. Allegedly, yes, of course. That's, th that is the grace language we have come to know and love. Allegedly, apparently, supposedly. Nothing is ever concrete, is it? These could be anyone's bags. Yes, well, I am a human with free will, and so I choose to believe that these two particular hiking bags belong to our two missing hikers. I, I'm pretty sure you have one of these bags. I've seen you carry it around. Ghost hunters are drawn to a certain aesthetic, and I can't help but appreciate... Yes, I do think that these are very fashionable bags. I will say that people can pick you out as a ghost hunter from a mile away. Thank you. It wasn't a compliment. Oh. So, we've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right, so these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Their great-great-great-grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just like the man on the moon. The Hackett family flag, right. Well, apparently when they claimed it, they found quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was hoping you would ask. Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of Wartzite. That's not fun or a fact. Most of them are. But I digest. Digress? It was a pun. Uh, they dug the crop and hit great heights of success before Septimus Hackett, classic bad guy. Name. So I don't think this part matters. I feel like I've just been listening to this podcast. Anyway, um, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry I suck at this game. First of all, I didn't know Caleb and Kaylee were, not Caleb and Kaylee were werewolves. Laura killed Kaylee. Caleb survived. Nick survived. Max got killed because I told him to swim. And then he got killed by Caleb. Then Dylan and Caitlin survived because I was smart. Went in the freezer. I like save myself with the controller um a lot less happened than i thought it would and then abby survived i'm lucky i told her to climb up those ladders into his office and then chris hackett died because i shot him travis survived the dodgy police officer he killed ryan and laura um i shot miss hackett to face off um bobby hackett and the dad mr hackett whatever they got killed by their own son chris hackett 
Um, yeah, but because they killed Chris Hackett, I thought the whole they'd all turn back, but they didn't, so that's why I'm confused. Um, because I'm assuming like Chris Hackett bit all the other ones or whatever. That was intense. I actually really loved the game though. There's so much detail, you know, it's kind of like a thriller. It's exciting, nerve wracking, a lot of adrenaline. Yeah, I really liked that. I'm definitely gonna play it again because obviously I sucked and I need to save people next time not let them die. I don't mind Emma dying though, no offence. Um, oh, I felt so bad for Jacob. Ooh, because Nick was... Was it Nick who was the one in the cage with him? Yeah, Nick was the one who was in the cage. I thought that was Max. And then he got eaten because I didn't let him out. I thought it would be safer, like, not to. And um, so I clearly have to make a lot more better... Better decisions next time. And... That's it. Be sure to like this video and subscribe if you want to see me play it again to the notification bell so you get notified when I play it again. Or like any other game really. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Toodles!